called Victoria Terminus, and our goal today is to find out where these go. These are known as tip-in boxes, and uh, it's been a tradition here in uh, Mumbai for about 50 years, and what these do is that what you saw them carry on their head, actually, they picked up in the villages, and they picked them up from each individual's house. That's a homemade, prepared meal by a businessman's wife. They go to the home, they pick these up, the wife has them prepared, and they're normally in like a aluminum stack containers with a identifiable bag around that. And they pick them up and they uh, bring them here to the train station and then they go to a staging area. And from there, we're not exactly sure what happens, but somehow they end up at the office of the man who had it prepared for his wife. So uh, now as we are getting ready uh, to find the tip in boxes, a, a train just came in and I'm standing literally amongst uh, a sea of humanity. I mean, thousands of people everywhere in this uh, great old terminal. So we're gonna have a few more come in. They normally come in between 11.30 and 12 o'clock and then we're gonna follow them and see where they go from here. This guy is moving. Where this guy go? Gone just a short way. You can see they're being staged here. And everyone is different. Everyone has numbers on it or comes in a different type of bag, an identifiable mark on it. We're going to see if someone can explain how they know where each box came from and how they know where each one's going. This is the key. boxes right here. This bicycle is loaded down. Hello, hello!
We found some uh, medical students who are willing to talk to us. And uh, uh, what's your name? I'm Supriya D'Souza. Supriya and? Pooja. Pooja. And uh, so you are studying medicine here? Yeah, we're studying medicine at Grand Medical College, Baikala. Yeah. What year are you in? Uh, we are in third first, third year, first term. Yeah, and well, do you know what you're gonna, your specialty is going to be? Uh, not yet, depends on which seat we get after our uh, CET. Uh, huh. So you, you have a, a ways to go in your studies. Do you know about these tip, tiffin boxes? Yeah, we do, as in most of our friends get their food delivered by these people. Mm -hmm. They do, um, I don't know they much about places. They pick it up from your place? Yeah, at like 10, 9.30, 10. And they drop it by 12.30, and they'll collect it by 1.30 in the afternoon. Okay, so they collect it and then return it, return it home. And so every day they get the same box with different food. And so normally it's the wife that uh, prepares that or the mother? Mother, yeah, most of us, if we would get a dabba, the moms would prepare the food and send it. And I'm, I'm sorry? The hostel food is really bad, so everyone wants home cooked food. So that's why our grandma, grandmother, she prepares food and then she gives it to a dabba and she delivers it there. So, so the hospital food is not so good, whether you are staying there or working there, right? <laughs> yeah. Now, do the patients also get tip tip in boxes? Uh, no, most of the patients get the hospital food. Um, the patients get hospital the food. Mm -hmm. The doctors the might. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Do most of the doctors get tiffins. Yeah. Most of the residents, the doctors, most of them get tiffin boxes. Yeah. The patients, all of them eat hospital food. Do you, do you have any idea how long this tradition has been going on? Oh, it's been going on forever. As long as we know, it's yeah. been going on, yeah. And uh, what do you pay uh, each month for that? I, yeah, I think it's like 20 bucks per tiffin. Mm -hmm. So it comes like once in a day, na? So yeah, around 300, 400 bucks, not more than that. Yeah, it depends on the area, like how far they have to travel. If uh, Supriya has to get from Bhainder, it takes a really long time. As for Dadar, it's cheaper. Like I have to pay No, and it depends on what the person's doing. I'm a student, he'll charge me lower. My brother's working, he'll charge him higher because he's earning. <laughs> oh, really? So there's a sliding scale, I guess. Yeah, so about uh, 300. And uh, how many courses are normally in that? Like. Like, according to the Indian cuisine, it would be like, there would be like chapati, rice, dal, and there would be like a vegetable in it. Yeah. It depends on who's sending it now. Like, if my mom wants to send me Chinese food, she'll send me Chinese food in the dabba. She sends you Chinese food? Oh. I'm re really fond of Chinese food, so I'm sure my dabba would have Chinese food in it. Yeah. <laughs> so. And do you compare uh, what you got with what you got, yeah, do you see? We share, yeah, definitely. You compare and share. So, if, so if hers look, if hers looks better than yours, you uh, might put your hand in hers here. Yeah. Well, very good. Uh, very interesting. Do you know uh, on top of the uh, t tip and box there's the code? Could you maybe have someone explain that? Tell us what the code is. Uh, they have these specific numbers on top. From that they identify which box goes where. Oh, it depends on the place, which place it has to go. So like, or yellow would go somewhere else, the green would go somewhere else, the orange would go somewhere else. Depends on which place they have to deliver it, that's all. Ha, these are all for the office areas, there. Would you ask him if he mind if we followed him to the office?
economic network. Yeah. They carry, they live it, they pick up, they drop it, they fight different uh, areas, they pick it up, they sort it off, they live it, they pick up, and they give it back. Oh, so it's done in five different areas in the city? No, they are, yeah, they are more than about, uh, you can say, 20, 30 areas, they pick it up. Yeah. From picking from one house to the station, station to another station, another station to the shop, or the offices, or bring it back to the station, turn circle back. So it actually could come through several train stations just yeah. to get here? Yeah. That's amazing. It's yes, amazing. Why is it amazing? Because their network is the best network. Even for them, uh, these people are called to UK also. Yeah. The Dubai were calling the, the, the child princess wedding in UK. All right. So the big companies learned yeah. through this system yeah. that they do. Yeah. Now, now I was told about 33,000 of these are delivered a day. Do you think that's about right? Yes, possible. They go to different areas. They come from. They come to Chalkia. They come to VT. They go to Dada. Plenty of areas they go. Yeah. And what was delivered to your place? Was that uh, for you? Yeah. 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 So your wife made that for you this morning? Yeah. W when are you going to eat it? At 1 o'clock. At 1 o'clock? Yeah. It's around 10 o'clock in the morning, which is over here on color 12, 12. So we have it at 1 o'clock. Yeah. And pick up my bag by 3 o'clock, leave it at home at 5 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. And do you know what uh, is in your tip in box today? No, I don't know. <laughs> it's always a surprise. It's a surprise yeah. Your wife doesn't tell you. She make, I don't go and interfere in the kitchen what she's making like. My wife make, my sister-in-law, they both make. Uh -huh. so I don't go and interfere in that. They make a high, do something big thing. Yeah. yeah if they found something special, they tell them make it for me, otherwise it's okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. What's your favorite? Yeah? What is your favorite dish? The Indian dal. Indian dal? Yeah. What is that? Yeah, it's, made of, it's made of dal, you know, it's a fully liquid thing, yellow color one, they made it in the pressure and cook when they make it very good. Now is that a, like a, a vegetable dish? It's a veg, it's a pure veg dal. Yeah. yeah. And you don't eat meat? Yeah, I eat meat sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. twice, 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 twice a week. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it will be an extra good day yeah. if your wife puts some dal in there. Yeah, it's a very good day. <laughs> yeah. Can we see? Yeah. Can we see if there's any dal in there? I don't think so. You want to see a dabba? Can we? Dal. You can see oh, this is a good sign. It's a dal. Lucky day. Uh, Woohoo! Roti. It's called roti. 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 Chapati. They yeah. call it chapati. Now, the, the dal and, looks yeah. almost like a. Yeah, and these are beans. Beans. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So those are like chopped green beans in a yeah. curry. Yeah. 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 That looks good. Yeah. <laughs> and is there any more in the top? Or is that. Oh, same thing. Yeah, we are, we are two brothers. We share it up. Oh, you're two brothers. Yeah. And we, we have a Sindhi popper also. It's called a popper. Do you want to taste? What's a popper? Eat. No, thank you. Uh, okay, it's uh, a small thing. Nothing to worry. You can taste it. I'm giving small bit. Nothing to worry. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. One for you. That's very nice. Thanks. Well, all day yeah. Far. Oh, yeah. That's very nice. So you guys are brothers, and it's your mother that makes it, or your wife? Oh, my mother expired. So it's your wife? Yeah, my wife, my sister-in-law. They make that. Looks like it's going to be a great day for dining with some dal, some poppers. What's that? Yes. We're going to show them the nice people of Mumbai. <laughs> yeah, we thank you very much. And uh, so that's how it works. Uh, the Tiffin boxes here in Mumbai. And uh, whew, we might uh, go for Coca Cola ourselves. Thanks for tuning in to uh, Jamie's Journeys. And uh, glad you came along.